Hi everyone, Alistair Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about reducing the amount of hands work through the golf swing. Now this is something that I could do with as well in my golf swing, and something I see with a lot of golfers that the hands work too much. Now there's a few golfers out there that need hands to allow them to perform better because of the way their body moves. They're a compensatory motion to allow them to play better. So potentially you might need to add more ingredients into your recipe to make you play well with reducing your hands. So just bear that in mind. That's kind of the terms and conditions of the video if you like. But essentially what I'm trying to do with this video is give you a great body drill to get you to move your body more efficiently and reduce the amount of these hands flip and flap through the golf ball in one go. Keep watching to find out how. So quite simply, this is a body drill. The idea would be you do three to five of these before you hit a golf ball. You'd hit a few golf balls in a row, then you do three to five again. That would be the kind of ratio I would recommend, but also you could do this at home. So I'm gonna show you two ways in which to do this. One with a bit of tubing, and we'll also use a golf club for those people who don't wanna go out and buy tubing. I wanna try it immediately to help their golf. So this is TheraTubing. This isn't purposely designed for this particular exercise. You can buy any kind of TheraTubing or band and make it work. And the TheraTubing comes in different colors for different resistance. This one's a, a kind of orangey one. So this is a medium kind of resistance. You can get harder ones and softer ones and so on to suit you personally. That's absolutely fine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this tubing and I'm gonna place my lead hand on top of the tubing and my trail hand underneath the tubing like so. I am then gonna take my setup stretch the tubing away and feel like my elbows are kind of rotated, as you'll see here. And I've got into my kind of what I'd class as my normal golf posture. From a backswing point of view, I'm just trying to keep this tension on. That's gonna help me keep a bit of width. It's also gonna help me keep my arms a little bit more structured in the backswing, okay? And it's also gonna make me feel I'm turning a bit more from my mid spine. So this is gonna do us no harm whatsoever. The main thing I wanna work on with this is the downswing though. So if we look at the downswing now, from that position now, I want to feel that like we're gonna flex into the downswing. So we'll flex into our right side to feel that like the pressure goes down to the ground. And then from there, we're gonna push and turn and stretch this tubing. And the idea is in the stretching the tubing, part like this, we're reducing the hands, okay? So if my hands worked a lot, this tubing would go very soft. So the more I can feel that this is stretching apart, my body is turning hard, my chest is going to the sky, the better. Now I might get a little bit out of breath doing this. This is not easy. Ideally what I want you to do is do it, some semblance of speed, and if we can stop the arms there, we're also encouraging a bit of deceleration also. So the deceleration of the body happens to create more arm speed, more club head speed. So that's a good thing. But essentially doing a few of those, you can really feel it. Now your heart rate is gonna go up, potentially depending on how fit you are. So the first few shots you might feel a little bit raring to go. Just bear that in mind. Now, if you haven't got tubing and you don't wanna buy tubing, you can use your golf club the same way. So feel your pedal tension on the shaft all the way through the swing. And again, you're not letting it narrow. Now this doesn't give you the same amount of feeling as the tubing does. It's not as hard work on your arms. It's not as tense, but it will give you some feelings nevertheless. If you want to do, you could use some bungee. You could use an elasticated belt. So there are other things you could use at home if need be. So once you've got those feelings, again, three to kind of five reps ideally. Go ahead and take your setup and try and make a swing with the same feelings with your body. So pretty straight shot there with a touch, a touch of left to right movement. Ideal for what I'd want to feel after doing that exercise, that my hands are working less. And definitely want to feel almost like the gap in the arms is constant. Obviously chicken wing is no good, I'm shortening my radius. But I want to feel like the gap is constant, not closing too rapidly. There is going to be rotation there, but I don't want to see that gap close rapidly. I want it to remain pretty constant. 
and certainly not flip or flap with the hands. So have a go with that drill. Have a go getting some tubing, ideally, or something elasticated that'll help you do this. If not, use the club as I showed you, and then take it to some golf shots straight after. Any questions you have, please chat down below, ask any questions, ask any requests for any videos, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Really appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click like down below and share the video. Really helps me if you can do that. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Hit my logo down this bottom corner. Join me on my journey. Let's lower your scores. Let's improve your knowledge, hopefully, and let's make you a better golfer. Really thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again here soon.